man, yeah. Oh, bless, oh, man, bless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, I heard a lot about you, man. <laughs> Yeah, come touch. Man. Yeah, bless you. Yeah. Uh, you got your blankets and everything. Uh, <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Hello, sir. Uh, you want nice to meet you. Oh, no, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, so yeah. you want to just chuck that pillow over and look at the phone? Because we've got, some, yeah. we've got one yeah. other person to talk about. Oh, okay, but yeah, yeah, sure. So we're just picking up, we're picking up Meadie. Yeah, yeah. coaches there. Good other folk out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joe, you're in the middle. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I was going to say because, like, you're bigger than me. In Colchester. Oh, yeah. It's oh, only the second shit, time bro. I've ever been here. Yeah. yeah. First time for me. Colchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've, you've done that trip between Chelmsford and Ipswich, but it never stopped after yeah, Colchester. Yeah, you've done the past, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't going to answer her phone. She... Yeah, we're only about. like 20 minutes in. Touch is asleep. James is asleep. We've got media over here, but she do not want to be filmed. <laughs> She's, she's awake. And uh, the driver, Jason, is awake, which is good. Got the awake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, just three hours to go, maybe three or four hours. We just got there, got arrived in Leeds now, and uh, we, if you look at the time, half past six, so we've got to get in there fast because the event starts right now. Oh, yeah. Put it touch. Yeah, we good. Jason's legend. Yay. Jason, legend for taking us. Yo, what's up? You're excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. Let's find this thing, man. Let's go. Yeah. Right, I think we're here. Radisson Blue. It literally is probably going to be starting now. What are your thoughts, Touch? <laughs> right, we are late. We are. I think we are late now. Start the seat later. Mate, this is exciting. Here's Eugene. Eugene and Femi. Hey, hey guys. Eugene's doing the sound. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, I'm coming. But this is the room, guys. Yeah. Hey, yo, what's up? Flavor James. I'm ready to do the, the event. Looking good. Nobody start um, here yet, but we're just getting set up. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah, right? Yeah. You are good. Good. Oh, you are good. This young lady, yes, please encourage her. Lives here in Leeds. Now she didn't live in Leeds when I met her. She didn't live in Leeds when I met her, and uh, I just came up to you, didn't I? And yeah. uh, basically, the Lord began to touch your heart, and it was fortunate for me. I was doing an event at the time, the Gathering of the Champions, Nottingham. And you came to it, didn't you? I did. And really, you've had an amazing journey. And then you've moved out of Nottingham, and now you're here. Do you want to share, everybody, what God, Jesus, has been doing in your life since we met? Yes, many, many things. <laughs> Bless the Lord, for He's good throughout all my journey with Jesus. It's been amazing. Level by level, it gets better and better. And I just appreciate being here today, just giving my testimony. And whatever you're going through, just press on, because He's always with you. And it's always setting you free from everything. So, yeah. I want to thank Paula for this opportunity. Um, she's a lovely woman and I owe her a birthday wrap. I'll, I'll, I'll deliver that to you later. So, this is my testimony. Listen. Um, I can't thank enough and I thank you God for this pain, the God for this living water. Every single drop be dead, all about the money in my bank account. I know the devil's steady watching, trying to drag me down. He's trying to knock me down, he can't black me out. I step into the ring like a wrestler with the Lord, and I smack him down like Pacquiao. Yeah, Christ, God, please, so how can I do this? Man, with the juice, nothing that I can do. Praise, praise, days on my shackles, I'm losing my life like a book, and I said, Christ, God, please, so how can I do this? Life with the juice, so you're in the army of truth. No apologies, apologies, I'm positive. If you throw your hands up, I'm so sorry. Say it, Lord, I thank you. Say it, say it, Lord, I thank you. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Another one, what do you think? Yeah. Thank you so much, Laurie and Dio. And their ministry is Favour J, and they've got an amazing song for us called I'm Blessed. Now, you're, do you want to come up, guys? Yeah. Because I still haven't got to know you. Where did that name come 
from? Flavor Jack. Flavor Jack, sorry. Where did it come from, that lovely name? Well, both our names begin with a J. So we're calling this movement Flavor J. Okay, Flavor J. it's yeah. okay. No, it's the okay. J, if we ever get too prideful, the J stands for Jesus. Oh, Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Well, take it away. I'm sure we're going to be glad. Thank you. Thank you. Jack. Yeah. Yo, yo. Is everyone excited here? Yes. yes. Say amen if you are. Amen. Praise Jesus. Yeah. grateful that you've come tonight and we're going to be blessed I'm sure by whatever you have. So you will have something to put your back on in a minute. You are of how this ministry has been doing, some of the speakers you've had, you know I got intimidated when I saw some of the speakers you've had and I thought why, why did they invite me? You know, All those great, great men and women of God. But thank you so much for inviting us and I bring greetings for my wife so she, she could not be with us today. And uh, can you please give a round of applause for my, my hitman there, for Jason? <laughs> he, he's the one who was responsible for bringing us here. So we got here on time. Uh, With one minute, quite, quite, one minute to spare. One minute to spare, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, the theme of our, of our good news event, and I must say, uh, we need some good news, don't we? Yeah. You know, yeah. History, ladies and gentlemen, tells us that. Church history tells us that Paul, the apostle, is by far Christianity's greatest convert. Yeah. Because since that day when Paul saw that bright, shiny light on his way to Damascus to kill Christians, and he met with Jesus Christ, and his yeah. life was transformed, Paul never looked back. Yeah. I mean, he was... And it still remains today, Christianity's greatest company. Wow. Not only that, church history tells us that. Paul, arguably, arguably, was the hardest working apostle of his time. Mm. Arguably the hardest working apostle of his time. That guy, nearly single-handedly, with a few people around him, nearly, almost single-handedly, evangelized the entire Europe by himself. Wow. wow. No Facebook, no, that's bad. No yeah. Facebook, no WhatsApp, no microphone, no aeroplanes. That guy nearly, literally evangelized the entire world. Tell your neighbor, if he can do it, can come do on, it. you better you gotta face it. If he can do it, if Paul could do it, then you can. Lord have mercy. Can I take my jacket out? Oh, yeah. Is that all right? Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby, take it, take it. <laughs> I feel like preaching now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Put him out, he's on fire. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Paul was short for weights. He tried to think about what God can do. And this great man of God, this great apostle named Paul, you know, who knew so many, Wait, he, he felt shocked to describe what God can do. Mm. To, to, to be able to describe God's ability. Mm. Somebody said God's ability. God's ability. Yeah, your voice is getting better now. It's getting better. So, so, so because Paul was trying to say, guys, you know, ah, I, I can't even go there trying to describe what God is able to do. Because God's ability is a big thing. Yeah. As great as Ephesus city was. Ah, before there was Ephesus, 
God was there in his ability. Amen. Amen. Before there was any such thing, he was trying to tell them, as the Roman Empire, as big, and the Roman Empire was big. Massive. Before there was any such thing as the Roman Empire, God was there in his great ability. Amen. Amen. Genesis 1 verse 1 says, in the beginning was God. In the beginning was who? Was God. No disrespect to Charles Darwin, but he didn't say in the beginning was Big Bang. He said in the beginning was God. God. So before there was anything you see today, there was God in his ability. So Paul is trying to explain to them that God's ability, man, is a big thing. If you serve God, you, I mean, you are connected to the source, Amen. which is limitless. Amen. It doesn't matter what the opposition have. It doesn't matter uh, how many weapons they may have against you. Yeah. It doesn't matter even if, like, like David, you only have one stone. Wow. As long as you're connected to God, Amen. that Goliath has to fall. Amen. Why? Because God's ability is a big thing. Tell your neighbor, God's ability. It's a big thing. It's a big thing. Big, big thing. So big, over big, the big. years, musicians and, and, and historians and songwriters, we have all tried to explain what God can do. But like Paul will always fall short. Ah, because you cannot ah, put a limit on what God can do. Ah, 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 ah. You cannot put God in a box. Yeah. You can't just say, this is how far can God can go. Yeah. Just when you think he's done it all, he does it again. Yeah. Ah, there's a scripture that says he goes from glory to glory, from faith to faith, from power to power. When I was growing up as a young Christian, there's a song we used to sing saying, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Because Amen. God's ability keeps on going. Yes. Shout hallelujah. 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 Yeah. I'm, feeling, I'm feeling it. Nice. Thank you so much, Liz. Yeah. Uh, 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 another, uh, another prophet named Isaiah tried to explain God's ability one day. And just like Paul, he was short for words. In Isaiah 40, 28, he said, Have you not known? Have you not heard? That the everlasting God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, neither faints nor is weary. Yeah. And he said his understanding is unsearchable. Yeah. Somebody say God's ability. God's ability. In Isaiah 55 verse 9, he say, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are God's ways higher than our ways. And so are God's thoughts higher than our thoughts. Somebody say God's ability. God's ability. Psalm 121 verse 4 tells me that he never sleeps nor slumbers. That's your father. That's your God. So why do you sleep like, huh? Huh? you have a father who never sleeps, who never slumbers. Say God's ability. God's ability. Some say, shake your neighbor. Say God's ability. God's ability. Say God is able, man. Oh, because uh, we are looking at God when God is looking at us. So why are you looking at me? Father, that's a mountain. So why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? And tell that thing to God. He said, even though your faith may be as small as a mustard seed, if you will speak to that mountain, say, you mountain, be uprooted and cast into the sea. It will move. Why? Because God can. Amen. God is capable. God is able. Amen. I don't know what they told you. I don't know what they told you. Yeah. Ah, but the God I serve is able. Amen. Even Amen. in the year 2018, he's able. Amen. Amen. Paul said, I cannot see. I has not seen. Yes. Ear has not heard. Nor has it entered into the heart of a man and a woman of the things which the Lord has prepared for those who love him. Listen, and but he has revealed them to us. Through his spirit, for the spirit searches all things. Say all things. All things. Yes, the deep things of God. And he said, for who knows a man better than the spirit that is inside a man? Yeah. Here's the best part, child. Even so, even so, even so, even so. No one knows God better than the spirit of God. Now, yes, if that was the best part, here's the incredible part. We have not received the spirit of the world. But we have received the same spirit of God. Amen. So that we can know the things freely given to us. Amen. Freely given to us. Amen. Amen. God is able. God is able. What are some of those things? Salvation. John 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For the Son of Man did not come to condemn the world. He came that the world may be saved through him. John 10 verse 10. Even though the thief come to steal, kill, and to destroy, he said, I have come to give you life and give it to you abundantly. Amen. Hallelujah. Why are some of those things he has given us? So, healing. Matthew 26 say, healing is the children's bread. Amen. Deliverance. Obadiah 117. Upon Mount Zion shall be holiness and deliverance. And Jacob, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. What's your name, honey? T. Tina shall possess her possessions. Amen. Joseph shall possess his possessions. Dario shall possess his possessions. Amen. Say, I will, I will possess my possessions. What are some of these things that God has given us? Power. Oh, They may have all the technology. They may have all the money. But we have the power. Uh, Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Thou shalt receive power. After the Holy Ghost has come upon thee, Hallelujah. and you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, Samaria, uh, Judea, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. Say power. power! Power! He has also given you authority. Say authority. Authority. He said, I give you authority. Somebody authority. stand up. Come on, stand up, stand up. You gotta help. All right, we just stopped off at services. Literally, we had to get out of Ipswich, uh, out of uh, sorry Leeds, because it started snowing. So we had to leave prompt at half nine. But touch, yeah, touch was on fire today. Just delivering that word with passion. No, no, McDonald's. It has to be McDonald's. Right. Yeah. It's one the one one negative part of the trip was uh, oh. this KFC that's just closed. Disappointed. Yeah, but I'll have to make do with McDonald's. <laughs> Got you both.